Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Wednesday, April 22nd. Taking a look at the weather impact summary, a cold front will move eastward across East Idaho this evening, and that will kick up the winds both today and tomorrow. In addition, there will be a few rounds of showers, particularly over the central Idaho mountains first this evening and then expanding across the eastern islands later this evening. And we'll show you those details on the forecast radar. Uh, some other noteworthy precipitation items. There will be a few thunderstorms as well Thursday afternoon as a surface convergence boundary works south across the Snake Plain. The other story, as we mentioned, will be the winds. There's a lake wind advisory in effect this afternoon and early evening for the American Falls Reservoir. So choppy conditions on not only that reservoir, but other area reservoirs will create some hazards for small craft. In addition, some gusty winds this afternoon, maybe getting up to near 35 miles per hour across the Arco Desert and INL could create some patchy blowing dust there. Otherwise, stronger winds are expected tomorrow across the Eastern Magic Valley, Southern Snake Plain and South Hills, and that's where we could see some gusts to 45 miles per hour potentially creating some areas of blowing dust there as well. A very quiet weekend is expected with some more wind possible Monday and Tuesday. And then after that, the warmest conditions so far this year will take hold across the west as an area of high pressure builds across the west. Taking a look at the satellite picture this morning, we can see one area of clouds and precipitation just off the Washington coast. And then as you follow that area farther south and west across the Pacific, all of this moisture is associated with the system that'll be and cold front that'll be moving through uh, tonight and then the lingering precipitation through Thursday. So we'll look at the weather impact overview. Again, it'll become breezy this afternoon across the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. Some patchy blowing dust, especially from craters of the moon northeast to INL possibly getting to Roberts. Gusts could approach 35 miles per hour, so we don't expect a widespread blowing dust with a very low visibility. Uh, instead, some patchy blowing dust, noticeable, but not uh, bad enough to reduce the visibility to critically low levels. At least that's the current expectation. We'll continue to monitor that, though, through the day. Some breezy conditions expanding across the South Hills and Southeast Highlands as well by this afternoon. For these higher elevation areas, rain and snow showers will move into the area mainly this evening after five or six o'clock. And then for tomorrow, we mentioned the wind areas of blowing dust possible across the Southern Snake Plain, Magic Valley and South Hills. And then rain and snow showers, especially in the higher elevation areas at least initially on Thursday, and then we'll see some showers and thunderstorms expand across the Snake Plain during the afternoon. Some of those could be locally heavy along the surface boundary. Snow levels starting off around 8,000 feet this evening, dropping to around 7,000 feet during the day Thursday. Winds will diminish Thursday night and then Friday, just some lingering rain and snow showers near the Wyoming border. We don't anticipate any impacts for this weekend. So here's a look at the expected wind gusts this afternoon. We mentioned the 35 mile per hour wind gusts possible from craters to the INL. You can see that there in the orange shading. And then the Shoshone Richfield areas as well, some westerly wind gusts in the 30 to 35 mile, mile per hour range. Otherwise, the areas in yellow indicating wind gusts around 30 miles per hour this afternoon. We will see an uptick in the wind gusts this evening and in a northeastward expansion towards Roberts and Rexburg. And that's where we could see some local blowing dust in that Osgood-Roberts area, mainly between say about four and 9 p.m. or so. It looks like that's the most favorable time period for that. Those winds will diminish overnight, but the winds will continue to blow across the Eastern Magic Valley and South Hills through the night and into tomorrow morning. Watch what happens as we get into the afternoon though. And you can see an expansion of the 35 to 40 and even 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts here in the red, these westerly wind gusts across the eastern Magic Valley. That's where we expect the strongest wind gusts to be tomorrow afternoon and even getting into tomorrow evening. But after about 9 or t and 10 o'clock or so, you see the winds 
pretty fast to uh, to diminish, except for maybe in the Yale Malta area. Some breezy winds will continue there overnight, but the winds uh, overall will diminish. Skipping ahead now to Monday, Monday night. Uh, that's the next chance for wind. At least at this point, it looks lighter than the winds forecast for today and tomorrow. But we could still see some gusts approaching 30 miles per hour. Highs today continuing their mild trend, a few degrees above average, well into the 60s across many valley areas. Tomorrow we'll knock about 5 to 10 degrees off of the forecast high temperatures. You can see the comparison there today, tomorrow. Low temperatures tomorrow morning, above freezing for just about all areas below 6,500 to 7,000 feet or so, and that's where we expect the rain snow levels to be. Friday morning, more areas getting down below freezing as winds will calm down, the skies will become clear, but expect a gradual warm up through the weekend and into next week. Now let's take a look at the forecast radar. You can see the showers developing, even some isolated thunderstorms, mainly across the central mountains in eastern Magic Valley this evening. And you can see how that progresses as we get into skipping ahead into Thursday now. So here we are starting again at 5 p.m. this evening. You can see rain in green, snow in blue, and you can see how that progresses. It's very showery in nature. Maybe a few spotty showers across the South Hills in Eastern Magic Valley this evening. Some of those showers could cause some gusty winds as well. We'll go through the loop one more time here so you can see the expected progression of this activity through the night tonight. And then skipping ahead here to Thursday afternoon, that's when we could see the thunderstorms across the Eastern Magic Valley and Eastern Highlands. Snow mainly relegated to areas above 7,000 feet and generally in the one to three inches. A few locally higher amounts are possible though, mainly above 9,000 feet. So again, the weather impact summary. A cold front will move through the area this evening. That will uh, will bring an increase in winds. Could see some patchy blowing dust and wind gusts to around 35 miles per hour this afternoon and early evening from Craters of the Moon through INL and eventually into the Roberts, Osgood area. And then windy conditions tomorrow for a broader area of the eastern Magic Valley, Southern Snake Plain and South Hills, and the Twin Falls to Burley, Jerome, Shoshone, Richfield areas. We could see some wind gusts around 45 miles per hour Thursday afternoon and early evening, but winds will die down fairly quickly Thursday evening and overnight Thursday night. Another round of wind is possible for next Monday and Tuesday. And we will see some gradually warming temperatures starting this weekend and going through next week. By the middle of next week, some areas across the eastern Magic Valley and southern Snake Plain may approach 80 degree high temperatures. So that's another thing we'll be monitoring as we get closer to next week. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we welcome those to the phone number, email address, or social media channels you see here. Otherwise, please join us again for your Thursday edition of the East Idaho Planning Briefing. Thank you. Have a good day.